Catherine Zeta-Jones took to Instagram to wish her stepson, Cameron Douglas, a happy 45th birthday. Dance like it's your birthday? Happy birthday to my stepson at Cameron Morrill Douglas, she wrote next to a picture of the younger man playing with a large dog. Love from your oh-so-wicked stepmother. His father Michael Douglas, 79, also replied in the comments section. Happy birthday, bud, he penned. Other followers swiftly joined in on the well wishes. One user said, I wish your stepson the happiest of birthdays, and may he have a joyful day, while another pointed out he looks like his grandfather, referring to late filmmaker Kirk Douglas. This comes after Michael opened up on his complicated emotions surrounding Cameron's stint in prison after being convicted for selling meth and cocaine. The hardest time for me I think was with my oldest son, Cameron who was in prison, incarcerated for seven and a half years, the Wall Street actor explained during a master class at the International Film Festival of India. He was a drug addict and had issues, serious issues. That was the toughest time for me, my heart. And not to mention, dealing with his addiction, he continued at the time. The problem with drugs is sometimes you have to bottom out before you realize. And in his case, because he was involved in selling, in terms of having enough money for his drug habit, and got caught, he added. And then he did a very severe sentence for a non-violent drug offense. Cameron was released from prison in 2016, but while he was behind bars, his father was diagnosed with cancer. The Ant-Man actor admitted that caused him to be able to understand his son's issues even more deeply. I mean, the chemical addiction to drugs and how difficult and how strong it is, what it creates your mind to do what you do to hang on to that addiction, he explained. As OK previously reported, Catherine and Michael met in 1998 and were engaged by the following year. They tied the knot in November of 2000, when Cameron was only 21 years old. He served as his father's best man at their wedding,